Right. Now, this video is going to be about carbohydrate or calorie backloading. Now, I'm going to do these quick educational videos, maybe even start a nutrition series, try and keep it short and sweet, but give you some ideas about how you can benefit your nutrition, how you can make it work around your lifestyle a bit more. So, the first technique that quite a lot of people are scared of because of the mix of breakfast is the most important of the day, meal of the day, and the no carbs after six. It's complete bollocks. It was created by cereal companies to get you to buy more cereal in the morning. That is basically it. <coughs> anyway, the benefits, essentially carbohydrate or calorie backloading, is saving your carbohydrates out of your daily intake until later in the day, after training essentially. So if you train at 5 p.m., you might save all your carbs until post-workout. Now, what are the benefits of this? Now, I've wrote some down. The first benefit is sleep, especially for me, someone who has a bad sleeping pattern. For some reason, I think it releases hormones like cortisol where it reduces stress. People like carbs. There is something, some sort of release in our brains where our bodies love carbs because they taste great and it helps you feel satisfied. So eating these prior to you winding down for the night will always benefit your sleep and there is some scientific evidence to back this up. Now, the next thing, budgeting and less chance of spilling over. If you have saved a massive chunk of your daily calories by not eating carbs until later in the day, there is a lot less chance of you messing up your macros or your calorie intake. Okay, say you have a 2000 calorie diet and you have 500 calories left with majority being carbohydrates. There is, it's very hard for you to mess that up at that point because obviously you are gonna be able to have a nice meal, a filling meal, a satisfying meal, rather than having to have a salad before bed where you might feel you might get hunger cravings, you might get sugar cravings and you've got no calories or carbs left to satisfy that with a little snack, meal, rice cakes, whatever you want to make, but you've got less chance of messing up your calorie daily intake. Now, after that, adherence and flexibility. If you are going out, most people in their life will go for meals on a night time. Now, most people will eat out on a night time, and most people have cravings sitting at the TV, watching Netflix, and later in the day. So, if you are calorie and carbohydrate backloading, this allows you to live a more flexible, fun life. Nobody wants to say they can't go to their sister's birthday meal because they're on a diet and they can only eat salads and there's nothing on the menu for them. So, if you can find a way of making your diet work around it through calorie carbohydrate backloading, you will have a much bigger budget later in the day to have a nice meal with your friends, to still go out, to still have a bit of a life, or to simply just have something nicer and a more calorie dense food later in the day at home. Okay, my go-to is cereal before bed. I will always do that for the rest of my life. The last one, performance. Now you might think, how can not having carbohydrates until later in the day save your performance? Now I'm not saying this is for everyone, but quite a lot of people actually like training before work and the majority of us have nine to five jobs, not me, but if you do have a nine to five job and you are someone that trains six or seven a.m. in the morning, now you don't really need that many carbohydrates through the day, but you putting your calories later in the day will always tide over until your six o'clock in the morning session. Now you might think this is mad and you might think, oh, when I go to sleep, it's gonna get stored as fat. It's not, okay? That is another myth that people will tell you, just because you're lying down and you're not moving, it's not gonna get stored as fat. The reason you're gonna get fat is by going too far over your daily calories. So if you're a morning trainer, try out carbohydrate backloading and you will see that the carbohydrates take that long to digest most of the time, that they will tide over into your morning session and I can guarantee you will start training harder in that morning session. So that is it, carbohydrate and calorie backloading give it a shot. It is not for everyone. It might be for some people with certain lifestyles, but if it is for you, try it out. You might enjoy it. I do. 
until the next video.